Hello all you tech people out there, how are you doing today? I am starting a video series on MongoDB and in this particular video series, I will tell you each and every detail that is required for you to not only understand but also to make an informed decision about MongoDB. Now before I go ahead, I want to tell you two very important things. Number one, no matter which programming language you work on, you must and must know about some of the SQL and NoSQL databases because in today's world you will be end up using either SQL or NoSQL database because the amount of data is quite huge what we are dealing with today okay so knowledge of database is just like knowledge of data structure which helps a programmer which complements a programmer so no matter which programming language you work on you must be aware about SQL as well as no SQL databases and at least have hands on in one of them or more than one of them. So that was the first point. The second point is when I am saying that as a programmer you must know about SQL and no SQL databases. This doesn't mean that you just get into all the databases and try to understand the nitty gritty details of the database or the internals of the database. Reason being you cannot remember all of them second and very important reason for not doing that is that you know those doesn't impact your decision making so what you must know is the information necessary information and necessary hands-on to that particular database so that you can make an informed decision you can definitely learn about these nitty-gritty details and doing complex operations when you have decided to use that particular database for example mongodb right so being aware doesn't mean being expert totally expert in that thing so that you know you remember everything by heart no that's not needed you must be aware about it so that you know you have the information that there are databases which are out there which can help you in your work and you can decide accordingly so you know decision to use a database is very important as compared to doing nitty-gritty details or nitty-gritty operations in that particular database and as far as mongodb is concerned in this video series i will give you all those information which can help you again to make an informed decision so let's go ahead and start this series this is the first video of the mongodb series and in this particular video we will look into json mongodb compass mongodb javascript shell and mongodb atlas so in this video we will touch upon all the ecosystem of mongodb infrastructure and from next video onwards we are going to talk about individual topics let's go ahead and start so when we think about mongodb mongodb is a no sql document store now we will understand what is a document store but you must know that in NoSQL databases there are four types of database. They are key value store, document store, column store and graph dbs. In this particular series we are talking about MongoDB which is a document store. Okay. Now the basic building block of learning MongoDB is JSON. JSON is nothing but a JavaScript object notation and if you have heard of mongodb documents we will see in a moment they are stored in the form of json which means that if you want to store data in mongodb you will have to store data in the form of json now you might be knowing what json is but to properly understand json i will recommend you to visit one page and i will take you there and the page is json.org this is not a very user friendly page, but I will highly recommend everyone to go through this page to understand what is a JSON because it has given a specific context free grammar you can say to explain what is meant by a JavaScript object, JavaScript arrays and what exactly JavaScript object notation means. So for example, you can see that a JavaScript object will start from a curly brace after that it could be a white space and closing curly brace or it could be white space with a string so string will be key then after that white space again then separator then value 
so it becomes a key value for each object field you can come again you can just put comma okay or you just put one element close the javascript object believe me guys if you see this once and understand it once you will never do any mistake while writing your json objects okay while writing something in javascript object notation that's what i'm saying it is not very friendly but please try to mind your map with the flow that is happening over here that is being depicted over here similarly in arrays arrays start with a bracket then white space value comma separator or the bracket similarly a value could be white space a string number a javascript object itself array true false null all these could be a javascript object notation values and whether or not you are aware of mongodb i will highly highly recommend you to go through this page you will not need any other tutorial to understand the javascript object notation or json if you go through this page so again highly recommended you to go through this now so when you want to store data in mongodb you need to convert that data into json or you need to fetch the data in the form of json you cannot store any other type of data okay so this is the storage mechanism of mongodb now let's come back again to our presentation and see how the data storage happens in mongodb this is the scheme that happens in mongodb so in mongodb you can name a database or you can create a database which can have more than one collections and each collection can have more than one json which is called documents in terms of mongodb so what are collections so consider a database for you know a school database in a school database you can have you know student information faculty information support staff information these could be a different collections and each collections will have multiple json so every individual will be having a single json single document in terms of mongodb so this is the structure of mongodb databases you create a database one database can have one or more collection each collection will have one or more documents okay so remember this this is the hierarchy you create a database collection and json now before we go ahead and look into some practical aspect i want to introduce a tool called mongodb compass so when you are downloading uh, mongodb community edition you will download compass also it's a gui for mongodb it is helpful for us to explore add modify or delete data we will see all of them both in mongodb shell as well as in mongodb compass okay so let's go ahead and try to do some practical things both with mongodb shell as well as with mongodb compass now i have told you that you know if you want to store data in mongodb you need to store data in form of json so let me open mongodb shell first and you know connect to my mongodb local host okay something's got printed no issue let's ignore it for a while and if you want to see the available databases you can say show databases you can see there are three databases admin config and local you have to go into one database to get the collection and inside collection you will have documents so let's create a database to create a database we can just say use let's say learn what happens that if the database is not created already it will be created for you now we are inside the database called learn and if we want to create a collection we can call a command called db dot name of the collection let's say i want to create a collection for weather information i'll say weather dot insert i want to insert a very simple uh, json or document abc you can see that the right result number of inserted is 1 and if i now say show databases you can see that learn database is there and i can see so collections you can see whether dot collection is there and if i want to see the data 
I have just inserted I can say db dot again collection name whether dot find find all empty uh, object means find all and we will see this you will say that oh there is no difference of course there is no difference now the difference will be visible when we will have bigger JSON objects so let's go ahead and shift to mongodb compass and then see it so when you open the mongodb compass this is how it's gonna look like uh, let me put it here and I want to connect so when I have connected to my local host you can see that uh, learn database is here if I click on it you can see that weather is here weather is the collection and inside the collection you can see there is one record called ABC okay so at this point of time I just want to delete this record I deleted it and I can come back here and check nothing will be printed okay now I want to have some JSON data I do not want to create that what I am gonna do right now is that I am gonna use this weather forecasting service openweathermap.org to get some JSONs okay I will tell you the pricing aspect of it it is having a free tier uh, where if you can get a API key you can make these many calls to get the weather data of any city in the world and I already have my API key so what I will do is that so right now what I am trying to do is that I am trying to query the weather of London and this gives me a JSON so I will take this JSON I will go to my uh, compass and I will say import document and I will say insert I have inserted one document let's go back here and say you know I want weather of Delhi I got the weather of Delhi and I am going to insert that too done let's take the weather of you know um, Tokyo I got the weather of Tokyo and I am going to add this data also insert so basically I could have inserted this data as part of you know shell also but it is easy from here from you know compass and last let me take the weather of you know Bangalore and I got the weather of Bangalore and I will add that and this should be sufficient for our learning whatever we want to do so now there are four records available they are called documents documents inside a collection inside one collection we have four documents we can search for some data for example let's say our name is uh, let's say Delhi okay and if we go ahead and find it we'll find no result because in Delhi D is capital and you get the Delhi now you are not seeing it as a JSON right now it just looks like a key value pair and you can have different views over here like this this is a JSON view and this is a tabular view also which is sometimes useful but this is very useful right you know you can just click in there and see JavaScript objects and so on and so forth this is the default view if you do not want to see the JSON view okay so you can click on anything and get more details about it now let's come back and try to do some more things now with MongoDB compass apart from adding modifying and deleting you can do some interesting observation for example let's talk about a schema you can see the type of the schema and you can click in there and see they are in 32 and you can also see the type of data that is available in that particular field so for example you know these are the data types that are available these are the cities that are available and if the cities are repeated multiple times you can get to know that you know the distribution of cities like which city is being um, stored for multiple times and so on and so forth this is very interesting we can also see indexes but at this point of time I am not going to talk about indexes because it is something related to performance of MongoDB we will talk in some later videos a schema is one thing documents is one thing and a schema is very helpful in understanding how the distribution of various parameters looks like okay now let's go ahead and try to change something let's try to change name uh, equal to London to let's say London 
Heathrow okay call it update and you can see that London Heathrow is updated let's go back to shell and uh, in pretty you can see that in pretty we are getting it actually in the JSON format and if we don't do pretty this is how we are gonna get it okay so let's uh, type um, name equal to name equal to London Heathrow and you can see London Heathrow is there let me put it in the pretty form and you can see London Heathrow is being printed and just to confirm that it's London Heathrow you can see London Heathrow is there okay and this is how you can actually update the things from the compass now let's go ahead and see how you can update the things from MongoDB shell it is a bit interesting so let's uh, open the shell and let's say db dot uh, weather dot update uh, you go ahead and say you know name is London Heathrow uh, this is our search query and update it with again name with just London okay it has successful so let's go ahead and refresh over here you can see that you know the name London is one record which means that when we have updated everything went for toss everything went away right because there is only one uh, key value pair or JSON object which is name London why this happened because you know when you are updating from MongoDB shell you need to do something different uh, let me get back the weather for again London and let me remove this particular object and insert the London one again okay and if I refresh I can see London is there now if we go ahead over here what what we will do is that so name is equal to London is our search term and if we have to just set name we will have to use dollar set value is name London again cross it then let me change it to London Heathrow otherwise we will not able to find it okay and if we go ahead and refresh it you can see that London Heathrow is here and rest of the objects are still here okay now we have seen how to insert document we have seen how to update document let's see how to delete and delete as you know gonna be our last uh, thing for today so db dot weather dot you know remove empty match so if you match something only that record will be removed empty match means everything will be removed and it says that it has removed four records and if we go ahead and search nothing is there okay so you must understand what is JSON you must understand the sequence like database collections and JSON documents JSON objects are called document these words are being used interchangeably and this is how you can use MongoDB compass as well as MongoDB shell to you know insert update create database and documents now before we close let's talk about MongoDB Atlas so Atlas is a database as a service it is a cloud-based service provided to you by MongoDB it has a free tier so you can use atlas free tier to get a hands-on with it it takes care of cloud-based replication as well as you know how the availability happens and you can just make use of it so let me show you how the atlas actually looks like so i have logged in as a free tier so in here you can create your project and then you can connect to that project via ssl and then you know you can create database and access those database from this particular atlas page so once i will create a project and database i will show it to you so i'll create a totally separate video on mongodb atlas but just to make you aware that you know if you want to use mongodb you do not need to create an infrastructure on your own or in your cloud you can also uh, compare mongodb atlas offering okay so that's all i had for today thanks a lot people thanks for watching Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe and keep tuning in for later videos. Thank you guys. Good day.